What is up, you guys? It is your boy, John, here from Puma Plot. Welcome back to another Rattlesnake Valley Let's Play. Here on the PC, I do appreciate you guys clicking on the video. How's it going? And welcome. And guys, we are jumping right back into it again. We finished that fertilizing mission over on Field 16, which means it is now time for us, us to go ahead and buy the field. And we knocked off, like, a, what, almost $100,000? By doing the one mission for him, we probably could do a lot more missions and get the price down even more. But that's okay. Let's go ahead and buy it. And it is ours now. So what that means, honestly, <laughs> so that's a big field. First off, I forgot to look at how many hectares it was. Ah, oh, man. I always forget to do that. I always, always, always forget to look at how big the actual field is. It's massive. It's massive. Four million dollars gone down the drain. But that's okay because we will make it back, right? We will make it back. So what I'm thinking about doing, uh, because that is planted in corn, I'm very tempted to plant everything else in corn. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. That's going to be a little crazy if I plant everything in corn. But I'm tempted to plant a lot in corn because... You know, we're doing soybeans now, so corn's kind of just the next. Not that we're going to do potatoes or sugar beets are, uh, yeah. But I think we're going to do corn. I think we're going to do it, guys. So what do I even own for cultivators? Do I still just shop? Hello. Hello, game. Uh-oh. I got this blue. There we go. Blue circle of doom. Uh, what do we own as far as cultivators? I think we just own that little guy still. I could be wrong. But I kind of think uh, that we just own that. Yeah, we just own that little guy. Okay. That is not going to cut it anymore. Great cultivator. Great cultivator. But to do, like, say, this field with that little guy, I mean, I guess I could start it and then just go to bed and get up the next morning and, hey, it's done, right? That, that's a possibility. <laughs> Although not very practical. Practical. Just saying. We will look in that horse pack here in just a second and figure out some kind of cultivator because we're going to need it. We have a lot of ground to cultivate if we're going to plant corn. You know what I'm saying? So, all good. All good, but darn. It's going to be a lot of planting. It's going to take forever to plant corn. So, maybe we'll do some of the fields in corn. What if we do like 14, 11, 12, 13? Do those fields. Leave 15 and 17 and 18 plant them in, in wheat or something. I don't know. Something other than... Uh, or we just do it all. We just do it all. We can make a lot of money off all that garden. So, As you guys know, we do have an end date to this map. Episode 100 will be the last one. Just saying. Will be the last one. Episode 100 coming up eventually here. Will be it. That will be all that we will be making of this series. We will be stopping the series around, well, not around, but once we hit 100 episodes. Looks like this guy up here is actually just about done as well, so that's good. Maybe we'll hang with him for a minute, get him done, and move him on down to the central part of the field here. 14. I kind of wanted him to start down there anyway, but that's okay. Uh, next time we harvest, we should just start one way up here and start one. All the way down south. And yeah, it's a little bit of time driving with the old auger wagon, but that's okay. It's all good, right? No big deal. Actually, is he done? Is that his last pass? Holy shnikes, it might just be. That's pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. Good timing on my part to get up here and empty him out before um, he has to move. So not too bad there. Taking a little over half a pass. Not bad. Uh, not bad. Alright, cool. We'll get this guy emptied out. We'll get him moved down. And, uh, yeah. So, our new field, that's like, that's a lot. We're making good progress on buying fields, you know. We really are. I feel like we just bought field 11. And realistically, not that long ago, we bought field 14. So, very good. We're getting to the point now where we have the crop. So that we can actually afford, <laughs> we can actually afford big fields now, you know. So, there is that. There is that. Okay, let's go ahead and stop you. Jump in the combine. 
and we will blast down the field to the other part right now. Let's go. Come on. I mean blast. This gunmine does roll. 26 miles an hour for a gunmine. It's pretty good. Not going to lie. I'm okay with it. You know what I'm saying? I am okay with that. A lot better than the gunmines that go, what, 12, 13? It's like, oh, that's terrible, you know? You feel like you're, you might as well go backwards, okay? <laughs> you might as well just go backwards. So there's that. So we have $429,000. We should be able to pick up a cultivator or two with that much money. Um, we will have an enormous amount of soybeans to sell off eventually. Um, of course, we're not going to sell any of them yet because we want to at least have a full train before we can sell them. You know what I'm saying? We got to have at least a full train. Where's that other cedar or combine? Okay, he's heading this way. We'll go ahead and top off our wagon before we head back to our trailer, basically. Okay, so where's this combine at? Somewhere down yonder. Just out of render distance. Uh, my game settings are on high. I, I couldn't do very high and maintain frames. Um, like I said, I am on the new computer, but I don't have a new video card. It's probably going to be a few months before I uh, pull the trigger on a new video card. So, For the most part, the 964 gig is working. I mean, it's fine. I would definitely like to step up to the 10 1080 Ti hybrid. I'm going crazy and going right for the hybrid. You know what I'm saying? Might as well, right? Might as well. The way I look at it is I'm going to go ahead and spend a little more money now instead of having to spend, you know, just as much money again in, say, a year or two years when I'm not happy with the performance of the card anymore. So we might as well just spend the money and get, a, get the card that I want. You know what I'm saying? We might as well. All right, and realistically, with, with the amount of acreage that we have, or hectareage, um, divide and conquer is going to be a thing. And probably going to go to more more course play as well. I mean, I enjoy, I enjoy driving the auger wagon. It gives me something to do during these videos, but I'm talking about off-screen time, off-recording time. Yeah, because I am going to be putting in more time kind of off-recording off um, until the end of this map, because... I would like to progress the map as far as possible before that episode 100. I would definitely like to be able to buy as many fields as possible before episode 100. And to be able to do that, I'm going to need to put in a fair bit of off off time, if you know what I'm saying. So, setting up, uh, like, over there on field 11, I haven't had to touch that guy since I started, and he's about done. He's getting there. He's getting there. So, it's just kind of nice that... I don't have to do anything. Course play is amazing, but I try not to use it for everything on this map because it will lag like crazy if you get too much going on course play here on the Rattlesnake. And there again, that was with the old computer. I haven't actually tried that much course play on this map with the new computer. So there is that. There is that. But yes. So what is this? Number, number three today? I'm hoping to record four episodes today. That's kind of why we're just, uh, you know... To be honest, that's kind of why we're just still in the same field is because I need to record today a lot and uh, it happens. So after this video or after the next video, there's probably going to be a pretty good jump in time because I won't record again until next week sometime. Oh, I have the Kelly Diamond. Oh, that would totally be awesome. But that is way too long for this map. Way too long for this map. Uh, what is that? 12 meters? 12-2. 12, I mean, I don't really want to go with... I, I can't go with these real long ones because of... That's 14 meters. I might as well just go with the end game, huh? Being 14 meters, a little bit bigger. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's just do that. Let's go ahead and buy it. It's a good cultivator. We know it's a good cultivator. Uh, ba, 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 ba. where's our tractor at? We got a tractor sitting up there somewhere, don't we? Right there. There you go. We got the S-Series. That will pull that cultivator. Should pull the cultivator just fine. We got 30 hours exactly on this tractor. How about that? 30 hours exactly. That's funny. 
That is actually really funny. Wow, we have tippers everywhere, don't we? Okay. So we bought a cultivator. We probably only need the one for now. Just because, why not? If we're going to do course play, we kind of have to wait for... We kind of have to wait for the fields to be empty anyway. You know what I'm saying? So, there's that. Corn planter-wise, I don't even know what we own. But let's check it out. We own... One of those, probably all we own is one of those horses. Yeah, do we have anything mod-wise? Why can't I find, there it is. Like, I can't find it. Uh, do we have anything mod-wise that's gonna help us out? Because that is bigger, 12 meters versus nine. That's in game, of course. I kinda think the Great Plains is gonna be too long for this map. This map in big, long equipment just does not mix. It really does not mix. And then this one is, what, 12 meters? We could probably add one of those, too. Probably add one of the horses. Why not? I mean, it's basically the same one that's in here. 9 meters versus 12 meters, so... Probably... Don't need that open. Probably go to something like that as well. But we just have a lot of combining to do still. Obviously. A lot of combining to do still. So we're just going to go park this cultivator out of the way uh, down here. The first field I will cultivate will be field 11. We'll kind of start there with the cultivation process because it's going to get done first, I believe. So we might as well. You know what I'm saying? We might as well start over here. And this is a pretty good cultivator. It's an in-game cultivator, but it's pretty legit. Not going to lie. It's pretty good. And it's pretty short behind the tractor, so getting in and out of these fields, hopefully will be an issue. <laughs> Hopefully, won't be an issue. So, we'll get our tractors, all of our Deutz tractors and stuff, and round up. We got tippers everywhere, and the map's kind of a mess right now, but that's okay. That's okay. It's part of life. It's part, part of how I play the game, so. What is wrong with this thing, by the way? It just completely wrecked. It did that all by itself, too. The last time, it's probably because it's full. I just re I refilled this off screen one day. And it, it likes to go backwards. So we're going to put it right there so it can't go backwards anymore. <laughs> How about that? You can't go backwards anymore when you're up against a wall, right? Well, at least that's the hope. <laughs> I don't know that to be factual, but that, that's the hope anyway, right? Alright, so let's get this uh, Kuleman emptied off again here into Mr. Senior Jesse B. Jesse B. Gotta love that, you know, it just runs right there. That's darn it. I really need to quit hitting my right mouse button. For some reason, I push it by accident, like, all the time. I don't understand why either. It just happens. Okay, helper A. Okay, A and O are both full. Ollie will get there, guys, as soon as I am capable of that. As soon as I can. As soon as I can. Okay. So here in a second, we're going to blast across the field at light speed. Because that's the thing, right? Tractor at light speed. Can you imagine the, those tracks would just disintegrate? <laughs> I want to go, like, push a quad track to go, or not a quad track, what is this? A challenger to go, like, 100 miles an hour. That would end well in real life, right? <laughs> Probably not. I don't think these tracks are designed for um, that kind of speed, you know? Like, I'm sure you could have tracks that you'd be able to go that fast with, but not necessarily these tracks. Or the tractor itself. Probably not designed for that, but it'd be funny. Be kind of amusing, not gonna lie. So there's that, right? There is that. Okay. Oh, and I've I talked about a couple videos ago, like three videos ago, that uh, this series is now in 60 frames a second. Oh, the the file sizes on these these videos are outrageous. <laughs> Let me just tell you that outrageous file sizes, which is fine because realistically. I'm not too worried about keeping the raw, the raw data, the raw files, you know. 
Um, what I like to keep is the actual rendered video uh, that goes to YouTube, just in case, someday. You never know, I could upload them all somewhere else. And it makes sense to me to go ahead and hang on to that kind of stuff. Um, just in case that day happens where I want to upload it somewhere else. The only stuff that I actually keep the raw file of, like long term, is any of the stuff that I film with the drone or at the farm or, or any of that stuff. I like to keep all that long term, but as far as like gameplay stuff, I don't feel a need to keep it uh, past, you know, once the video goes live, just in case there's anything I screwed up in edit or whatever like that so I can fix it. Usually I keep stuff for a couple months uh, before I actually get rid of it, so. But eventually, all the raw files do get deleted, eventually. And actually, a lot of the uploaded stuff has gotten deleted as well because I just didn't have room. And it's like, how much money can I spend on external hard drives? For what reason, you know? Can I really justify buying all these four, no, six terabyte drives? Or are they four terabyte? There might be four terabyte drives. I have a bunch of them. I have six external hard drives sitting on a shelf to my left. Yeah. <laughs> I run them in pairs of two. So I have two hard drives that are, I believe they're four terabytes a piece. And that has all the on the farm raw stuff plus the... Uh, uploaded stuff to YouTube. For some reason, it's not that much yet, but they're getting full. That stuff stays forever. Okay, two hard drives in case one decides to um, crap out so that I can, I, I have it still. And then there's another set of hard drives that is four terabytes a piece, and that is all of the uploaded stuff. Now, I have actually had to delete quite a bit of the uploaded stuff, but it's all stuff from... I guess let me just say before, if that makes sense. It's all stuff, the only stuff I've deleted is stuff that has another person in it, basically, if you know what I'm saying. And I know by even hinting at that person that used to be part of Boom Blah, Blah, there's going to be comments. Because there's comments every day. What happened to him? Where is he at? Why is he not in the videos anymore? Well, I feel like I'm beating a dead horse by just simply saying he quit and he wants nothing to do with any of this. He does not have another YouTube channel that I'm aware of. Let me be um, brutally honest when I say we don't speak. We have not spoken since he quit. Okay, he threatened to sue me for Puma Plow, and because of that, I will not speak to him, and he does not want to speak to me. And I'm okay with that to a point. Yes, it sucks. He's my brother. Like, you know, we shouldn't let something like a quote unquote business that was never a business to come between us, you know. I will never work with family again in that aspect. But it should, we shouldn't let it bother or let it ruin the relationship that we had. Anyway. Um Yeah, so I don't know if he has another channel. I highly doubt it. Because he didn't like to do any of the work besides recording. <laughs> You know, the the render, the the editing, the rendering, the uploading. He didn't really like to do all that. He did the uploading before and and stuff like that. He did it because I did all the editing and rendering here. But he never, never did that. And most likely, those of you that are watching to the end of the video, it's, um, you know, you guys are tired of hearing about it because you guys are the ones that watch all the videos and you guys are the ones that watch all the streams and stuff like that. It's the people that come in and watch the first 30 seconds looking for him and then leave a rude comment. You know, it's like, that's not the people that I'm talking to at this point in the video. And I understand that. So for those of you that support me, support what I'm doing, like what I'm doing, enjoy what I'm doing. I greatly appreciate you guys. I guess is the main message I want to get across. Um, I don't say it enough, but I truly do appreciate even just, you know, anybody that watches, if you watch one video ever, I appreciate it. You know, hey, if you like the video, hit that like button. That does, I do look at those numbers. I do look at those numbers and then it's like, yeah, I want to make YouTube videos today if I see a couple, you know, if I see some likes. Otherwise, it's like, eh. <laughs> Trust me, I'm not done with YouTube. I'm not quitting YouTube. I, I enjoy YouTube. I enjoy what I do. Um... I, what the, oh, you're stuck here. I was like, where the, who the, 
why the what the what <laughs> duh you're probably getting full here at the train too by now jeepers creepers just off these two fields we've been harvesting we're probably getting a little full here so that's okay though that is okay all right mr 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 uh jcb let's go we need to move some soybeans boys so it looks like we're going to be moving to a new field uh, for next video, um, I'm going to play ahead just a little bit here, and we will probably move this operation to field 15, something like that. Yeah, we'll move to field 15, we'll get a cultivator rolling, um, probably in field 11 very soon, and maybe one over here as well in 14, because I have Deutsch tractors laying around, and if nothing else, they'll pull the cultivator that's in the shed, right? <laughs> oh god, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't want to do that. I do not want to use that little guy anymore. I probably need to just sell it. But I think the Deutsch tractors might pull. Actually, let's not look at it in there. Let's look at it in the garage. Deutsch tractor has 336. That allegedly requires 350, but it'll pull it. <laughs> it'll pull it on the flat ground <laughs> anyway. Um, this would be our ideal tractor, of course, for uh, any kind of heavy tillage. But we're using it dog we're using it anyway i just realized we're like over time but i do appreciate you guys watching another rattlesnake valley let's play we will move ahead a little bit in time here between videos um have a great rest of your day and as always toodles